a reading from the New Testament as translated from the King James Version of the Holy Bible by the Gullah people. This is the Gullah Bible. As usual, every morning, we uh, pick a any spot because it's a learning experience for the reader here. And we'll just go to, what's this, Corinth 2, page uh, uh, 626, I guess. 626, uh, Corinth 2, this is, I guess, 9. And let's just go to, uh, well, let's pick the, well, should we do 14? Nah, yeah, let's do 14. Hold on just a second. Put my glasses on. Because it's difficult. Well, you see what happens is, you know, the, the gullah is here, but the, the translation of the King James is here, very small. Well, small for me. And uh, as you know, we read the gullah, then we read the English translation. Because I'm in a learning process, how to do the gullah thing, and then we do it again. See if I learned anything in that little minute. <laughs> okay, what did I say? I was going to do uh, 14. Well, if I didn't say 14, I'm saying 14 now. Page, excuse me, page 2, I'm sorry, 626. Corinth 2, 9, uh, 14. So then they go and pray for honor with all they that they had cause of the blessing when God been gone, been give honor more than or translation translation and by their prayer for you which long after you for the exceeding grace of god in you okay let's do this again this is the color of that 14 uh corinth 9 14 or 2 corinth 9 14 so then they go and pray for honor with all they had cause of the blessing where God been going gonna on them all. Translation. You know, this is a old English of my old, I guess here, yeah, old English, like, you know, Marlowe, Shakespeare kind of English. And by their prayer for you, which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. Oh, okay. Well, I understand. You have to, I'm just reading. You got to interpret for yourself. Uh, because you are you and me is me. Me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I definitely suspect. 